Hey, welcome to Equip2 HQ. I'm Paul Thompson. Today we're going to be running over the Edge TRT516 Trommel screen. Um, as per standard, pretty much where you start the day, um, start, run the machine up, etc. is all done via the keys here at the central control panel. Um, you've also got the engine RPMs as well. Hiding away in behind here, open up the screen obviously. Um, come into the radiator, all tucked away nice, and there's a little C4.4 engine. Uh, obviously really fuel efficient, these things don't need a lot to run on them once they're spinning. So, um, nice, little, nice little unit in there, easy to service, easy to get to, which is what we all need. Now here we are in the main hopper, um, high capacity, so around that five point, uh, about five cubic metres. Um, and then obviously thread through the conveyor, so you've got a 900 mil wide conveyor belt here. Key thing about that is being load sensing as well. So obviously it's measuring through the next step of the process and just, just keeping that speed nice and consistent going through on the product. I'm sitting here inside the main trommel. Um, so we're sitting just shy of five metres long and 1.55 basically from point to point. So the configuration of this, um, you can either come with a punch plate, um, a mesh, which is what we've got in at the moment, or you can go to a spiral tube. Um, so these lifters, basically how it works, it's really good having that wide span in the drum. As these lifters bring the product up, you get a throw down to the other side. And obviously the further that is from the throw, you get a nice big fanning on the side of it. So that it gets you that. Um, good feature is, is these are bolted in from, from the inside. Um, so basically undo the bolts, rather than having to force them down on the outside, you sort of squeeze them up, pop them in. Um, so really easy to change them out if you're going to be doing different sizings for different products. So the drum also features um, a variable speed, so basically how fast the trommel is spinning. And then by raising um, and tilting the chassis, you can actually change the speed of the flow of material through the trommel. So you can uh, tilt it up at this end and get a bit more screen time through the box. Um, or you can fasten up production and get it going through if it's screening really well. Another good feature is on the outside here you'll see these spring-loaded drum brushes. Um, so they just come on the side. You can actually flip them onto whatever side you want. So that's quite a handy little thing there. We have the oversize here. So obviously uh, comes out through the drum, the oversized product and coming out. Really good discharge height. You can achieve around that three and a half metres through the top side of it. Uh, we bring them in standard with auto greasing little modules here for the end drums. Another little cool feature of the drum itself is uh, when you've got that sticky stuff in there, you've got these big rubber mats, so you can actually quite easy just flick down here, just give them a little whack, um, just trim up that inside a little bit. For the fine side, so it'll be coming down through the hopper and obviously come up through the belt, so coming up here with your fines, coming down to this. Awesome feature, we've got a radial stacker on this end, so you've got about 5.3 metres of discharge height, but you've, uh, the coolest thing is you've got 180 degrees um, with this radial, so you can actually spin this around all the way around that way, all the way back around that way in a full 180 arc. So your stockpiling capabilities without having to move the machine are really good. Thanks for your time and quickly going over the brief of Big Blue here. Um, the 516, there's a lot more to it than that. They come with so many different options that we can spec them for. Um, so if you want to know a little bit more about this for your operation, please let us know and get in touch with us via Equip2. Thank you.